The recent Tickford 500 at Sandarm was remarkable not only because it was the 32nd year of the country's largest motorsport event, but it was also the farewell race for legend Peter Brock and the first time in 20 years that an all-female team took on the boys in endurance racing. Melinda Price and Karen Brewer are the first Castrol Cougars to be selected by five times Bathurst winner Larry Perkins, his teammate Russell Ingall and Castrol Australia. Basically, Perkins Engineering rang me up and I spoke to Russell Lingle. He said, you know, come over for a test drive. Um, don't tell too many people about this. It's all confidential at this stage. And um, now it's all out in the open, so it's good. Well, the actual idea came from one of the Castrol directors and he rang me up and said, uh, don't hang up, but I've got this idea, you know. And uh, obviously he was anticipating negative, but I said, I didn't, I said I don't have to ring you back, I said I reckon it's a good idea, I've always thought it would be a good idea, let's just go and do it. Both Karen and Belinda started their racing careers on the supercar track and then moved into production cars. Both competed in the Mazda 121 series, Melinda coming second. The first race I did after go-karts was in a production car out at Sandown and I did a couple of 12 hours in that and then did a few two-litre races and then uh, moved over to the Legends in Super Speedway. So I guess I've sort of stuck my fingers out everywhere and had a little dab in everything. I guess this is the most powerful thing I've driven so far, but having the natural progression of, of driving this and that and whatever and slowly getting faster and faster as I went has made it not quite so daunting. Larry coming up on now female driver there, Melinda Price, her first race in the Shell Australian Touring Car Championship, part of the Castrol Cougars team. Strength of mind and body are obvious requirements, the latter being one area the women agreed needs hard work. I've been doing a lot of upper body work. I've actually got a sprint cart that I go out and you know do a 45 minute session out there just full on on the arms it's, and it's working the right muscles. Um, you know, I, I rug up, I should be wearing my suit and, and more clothes over the top but um, yeah, I just rug up and just sweat it out and work hard at it. And I guess we've got a strength disadvantage compared to the guys to begin with so hopefully we've done enough work to, uh, to last tomorrow and if not I guess we'll know all about it and we'll, we'll know how much work we've got to do for Bathurst. Unlike many other sports, sponsorship is an issue the Cougars don't have to be concerned about. We are being looked after by Castrol Racing and Perkins Engineering, Dunlop. You know, they've just been absolutely great. Um, they've done a fabulous job in uh, getting this car together for us and uh, just giving us a chance to get out there and show what we've got. We're getting ourselves ready for race two. There's John Bow. He is ready to go. Larry Perkins on the right-hand side of him. Green, and we are away for race two. It's perfectly dry conditions. Have a look at the Biff and Marge back in there. Well, there's some pretty serious muscling going on there. Unbelievable stuff. Onboard camera with Russell Ingle. Hard at work. Oh! <laughs> Get her up. <laughs> sitting in behind him, Larry gets it sideways out Whoa. of the car. Hang on to it, Larry. Uh, you've got to accept racing is uh, hazardous. It's, if you're going to race, you have uh, sometimes accidents, shunts or whatever. If the girls be in the cars, that's just part of it. I mean, that's life. Uh, you don't just have to be a girl to be in the car. I mean, Russell and I both bent our last cars in the last month, so not a big deal. Look at Perkins. Oh, Larry! There. Alan Jones managed to catch on. Larry's got right off in the sand. They were side by side for a good 150 metres or more. Oh, spin. There have been a couple of occasions where I have been a bit, you know, nervous and gee, should I have done that? Um, I'm a, I hope I've done the right thing by letting him go through, you know. But, you know I've, I've tried to do my best to stay out of the way and still get yelled at. 
While Bryson Brewer looks set to be behind the wheel next season, Perkins is nonetheless on the lookout for new talent. They can only give me a go if they, if they think they can jump a certain rank on the hurdle. The first thing, don't even ring me if you haven't got a CAMS licence. If you've got a CAMS licence, still don't ring me. Ring me after you've run a year or two of racing and had some distinction, then maybe ring me and, and maybe I'll take your call. Have a look at Melinda Price. She's staying with the boys too. She's doing exceptionally well. I guess if I can have my name on the window of a touring car from now until I'm ready to, to get out of one, I'll be wrapped. It's early days for the Castrol Cougars and boss Larry Perkins has realistic expectations. I'm not expecting miracles overnight. I just want them to have a nice, sound, safe performance and effectively keep out of the road of the fast guys, which is the same words I use to male privateers. For Christ's sake, use your mirrors and just learn. So practice makes perfect? Well, it certainly helps a lot. 